Okay, welcome to our Systems of Linear Inequalities series. Uh, we've been working on linear programming problems like the one that I have set up right here. Uh, now, we are going to start the videos on the simplex method. So this would be part one of the simplex method, and it's to learn how to set up the simplex table. Okay, so before we do all that, I just want to run through exactly the solution of this using the graphing method, which is the method we've been using uh, in the last few videos. So take a look down here. I'm going to bring in the graph of these two lines. Now what you would do is you would replace the inequality with an equal sign, and you graph each line, which we've done that already. And then we want to find the shaded region. So if you were to plug in a point, because again, I've, you would have done these separately, but you'd plug in a point, um, you'd find that the region, the feasible set, is in here. Now once you figure out the feasible set, you would locate your corners. And we have a corner here, 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 and then here. So then you'd create a table, you'd come up here, and then you would have your corners, the objective function, so the thing that we're trying to maximize, And then you would then put your corners. So we have the origin. We have 0, 200. This one, which is 100, 150. And then finally, this corner, 200, comma 0. You'd evaluate the objective function using these corners. We have p equals 0, 400, 450, and 300. So if we're trying to maximize, which is what we're trying to do, our objective function, we see that we have a max right here. So we have a maximum of 450 when x equals 100 and when y equals 150. So that's good. I mean, we know how to do it using the graphing method. So now let's learn how to set up the simplex table. Step one, we're going to introduce what we call slack variables. Now we have two inequalities up here. So let me write them down. So we got 3x. 6y, and it's less than or equal to 1,200. Now, being less than or equal to 1,200 means that I can equal, say, 1,000. Well, if 3x plus 6y equals 1,000, and we're less than 1,200, what's left over? Well, it would be 200. If 3x plus 6y equaled 1,000, you would have some left over, which is 200, because 1,000 plus 200 is 1,200. Well, what happens if 3x plus y equaled 400? Well, then my leftover would be 800, so that that would equal 1,200. Now, why do I care about this? Well, it's because I want to turn this into an equation. And since there's some leftover, and I don't want the leftover, we introduce what we call a slack variable. A slack variable is, it's, it's called slack for this reason. It picks up the slack. All right? So, again, if 3x plus 6y equaled 400, then u equals 800. It picks up the slack. If 3x plus 6y equals 1,000, then u has to equal 200 because it's picking up the slack. So we've done, we've uh, included a slack variable in my first one. Now let's do it for the second one. So that's 3x plus 2y. Now it gets its own slack variable, so it's not going to be u again. It's probably, we would normally use a v, so like u and v, and that's going to equal 600. So these are my two equations now by introducing the slack variables. And we'll move on to step two, which is to rewrite the objective function. Now notice that up here, all of my variables are on the left-hand side. The constants are on the right. Well, I want to do that with the objective function too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the neg or the 1.5x and the 2y, bring it to the left-hand side with the p. So it's going to be negative 1.5x minus 2, 0, 0, y, plus p equals 0. So again, just bring the 1.5x and the 2y over to the left-hand side with the p. So now that I've rewritten my objective function, I have introduced my slack variables, we now can uh, start our simplex table. First, you'd set up a table much like this. It's going to be like setting up a, a matrix when we do row reducing. You're going to have all your coefficients of your variables in this big matrix here. Now, all the variables we have, we're going to put in the first row. 
So we have our x, the y, those are the variables we're trying to solve for, so they go first. Then you have your slack variables. Uh, then you have p, p is the last thing in your, um, right, well, your last column, I guess. And then over here, these are all your constants. So let me write constants. So we have, our, let's take our first equation here, 3x, 6y, u. So that we're going to use 3, 6y, 1u. Notice that we do not have any v's up here. So if you don't have any v's, you just put a 0. And I don't have any p's, so that will be 0. And then my constant is 1,200. Now my second equation is going to be 3x, 2y. Notice that there are no u's, so it's just going to be 0. There's one v, no p, and a constant of 600. Now my last row right here is reserved for our objective function. So that's going to be the negative 1.5, negative 3, oops, sorry, negative 2, 0, because no u's, no v's, has 1p, and then a 0 for the constant from right there. And that is our simplex table. Now, before we move on to the next video where we're actually going to complete this simplex table, I have one note. And we are done, this is our note, we are done when there are no more negatives in the last row. So notice we do have some negatives. We have a negative 1.5 and a negative 2. It's important. So we know we're done when there's no more negatives. Being that there are, we have some work to do. So in the next video, we'll start the table.